Hello, Bruce with Pond Supply. Hey, I want to talk to you today about beneficial bacteria for your pond. You know, when to add it and why. Now, bacteria occurs naturally in your pond, but during the winter, especially in the colder climates, it's either killed or greatly reduced. And it takes, you know, up to a couple of months for it to naturally regrow. So what a lot of folks recommend, and, and I do, and I have always done it for my ponds, is to add bacteria to your ponds to get, kind of give it a kickstart and really get it going. Now, what bacteria does in your pond, especially if it's working in a biological filter or even you know, using your regular filter media, it reduces the nutrient load. You know, it breaks down organic waste in the pond. Of course, the best way to, you know, to eliminate the need for breaking down the organic waste is not to overfeed your koi, but all of us all of us do that. So the bacteria helps break all that down. It reduces the nutrient load, you know, removes ammonia, and it helps balance the ecosystem. So what we want to do is we want to add the beneficial bacteria to your filter you know, and, and add it in the spring, usually getting water temps up around 50 degrees, start adding. And the key to that, I guess, is you know, once you get it really going is during the season, if you have to clean your filter, you don't want to kill the bacteria that you've got going. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. If you're running multiple filters, only clean one at a time. If possible, and if, if, say you have a small pond pump that you use for you know, pumping out your pond whenever you need to clean it, use that water. You know, set it up high in your pond, you know, a high, high level, and pump some of that top water so you're not pumping any, any dirt or, or organic buildup in the bottom and use that water, you know, if you've got a 1200 gallon per hour pump and any kind of little spray head on that, you can get a pretty good pressure and clean your filters with your pond water. That way you don't kill the bacteria. If you use city water to clean, you know, anything that has chlorine added to it, you're going to kill the bacteria in your filter. If you do that, it's not a big issue, just reseed it with any of the, you know, microblift, um, EcoFix, or any of the other you know, bacteria that actually puts bacteria in the name. So anyway, that's a little bit about beneficial bacteria. Thanks for watching.